beautiful people welcome back again to my channel today i will show you how to make a glass bowl snowman with lights using items from the dollar tree it is so easy and it's as easy as snapping your fingers like that yes let's get into it i hope your weekend was great and if you're new to my channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you're a new subscriber thank you so much again for coming as always i love you all we are in the season guys i am so excited to share with you all my christmas decorations and diys and all what not but please i would like to know in the comment section when do you start decorating for christmas so yeah i got these fish bowls from the dollar store and um, they, in total they all costed me about seven dollars I think or less because the small one was a dollar fifty the medium sized one was two dollar and fifty and the large one I think was about four dollars I got the large one a long time ago so yes uh, that is the cost for this all and I am using white acrylic paint as well from the dollar store which is a dollar fifty as well I will use this wooden slab as the base for my snowman and also we use the E6000 glue and the hot glue which by now you all know are my favorite items to glue this down onto the slab sorry not onto the slab to glue the vases together but I will not be gluing the snowman onto the wooden slab that is because it makes it easy for me to put the light insert underneath the vase and I can take it out easily to change the batteries or if I wanted to use electric lights I can also do the insert underneath the vase without having to rip it apart to take out the lights I am using the E6000 glue and hot glue for a stronger and long-lasting hold now that we have Frosty's body ready how about we go on to make his hat so for Frosty's hat I will be using this plastic um, cup and some cardboard to actually make a magician hat for him how to call one of those magician hats they're a truncated cone it's not like straight up straight up it looks like a bucket so that is why i'm using the plastic cup because that actually looks like a, a bucket except this is thin so i am going to try to make it look a little bit fuller using cardboard alternatively you can actually use a, a, a toque or a beanie on your snowman if you do not want to have to go through the process of creating a hat or getting one it works just fine but i prefer the hat so i am making one for my frosting funny story as a kid growing up in a country where we did not have snow yet watching so many movies um, christmas movies that actually showed snow and kids actually making snowmen in the snow i had this dream of oh my goodness when i travel i am definitely going to be building so many snowmen guess what uh <laughs> ah, news flash it is so cold i can't even make a full snowman successfully so this is my go-to. I'm actually happy I have a glass snowman that I do not have to actually use snow to make. So <laughs> that is my funny story. Even better, this snowman would not melt with the sun. So you can have this snowman 365 days in a year and all years through. So <laughs> my frosty is forever. I still enjoy snow angels though. Those do not take very long to make. You just lay in the snow and just flap your arms. <laughs> So yeah, I'll still be making those. So <laughs> let's get going. I used paper tape around the edges to cover the rough edges and also some paper to cover the hat at the top to give it a smooth finish before I actually go ahead to paint it with black acrylic paint. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Like you would have noticed, my hat is not hollow, obviously because my Frosty's head is flat. So if you're using a round shaped um, item for your Frosty's head, you may want to make your hat hollow to accommodate uh, the rest of his head. <laughs> Otherwise, you may want to cut it so it's flat at the top as well, because I will glue this down onto the head of my Frosty.
and there we have our frosted hat ready to be worn. Next, I will be using these glass rocks from the dollar store as buttons and eyes from my frosty. So I just painted over them with black acrylic paint as well. For Frosty's arms, instead of using hooded branches, I will be using aluminum foil to make one. And um, that is mainly because I wanted my Frosty's arm to be flexible because I will be attaching a gift to his arm and branches with branches you can to do that. So yes, you could use aluminum foil to create your Frosty's arm or if you prefer branches, by all means, go ahead. So next up, I used some air-dried clay to actually create my Frosty's nose because I couldn't find any plastic carrots around to use for his nose. And I actually wanted the elongated nose as opposed to just using a bead, um, a bead or a ball for his nose. So yes, here we are creating a nose for him and I used some paint to paint over it, of course, orange. So here we go. Now it's time to put our snowman's body parts together. So yes, I'll be using hot glue to glue his arms, the buttons, his eyes and everything else. Just watch as I do this. So I had cut out a smiley mouth for my Frosty, but it looked too happy for my liking. Though well, that is a bad thing, so I changed the idea and just decided to give him a thin mouth. I was smiling and that was good enough for me, so <laughs> yeah. And so our snowman is coming all together and alive, but I needed to give some life to his eyes. So there we go, adding some pop in his eyes so my frosty can actually see me. <laughs> Next, I will be using this red scarf that I got from the dollar store for $2 around my snowman. Oh, he looks like he's telling me thank you. <laughs> Do you want to be a snowman? <laughs> okay, alrighty. So now I'm just going to add some touches to his hat uh, before I go on to put that on his head. I will be using some pine, um, artificial pine of course, and some holly berries and um, some jute burlap actually on his head just for some Christmassy touch you know and let's get this going and now my frosty is set for Christmas all I have to do is glue down the hat onto his head I'm sorry frosty uh, okay and there we go so yeah next thing will be for me to add the lighting uh, which to me is the major part of this project so yes my snowman is ready so I'm using some lights that I got from Aliexpress um, this sweet actually I got 10 of these I think for about $15 I actually use them for decorations so yes I'll be using one of those for my frosty to give him an extra touch and there we go you need to see this in person it looks amazing this is not doing it any justice still on my Dollar Tree Christmas decorations 2020 I will be doing using these wine glasses actually to create some snowman heads as candle holders so watch as I do this what is Christmas without some bling so of course yes I'll be using this gold glitter all over the bottom of these wine glasses before um, I go ahead to paint the inside with white acrylic paint just like with the snowman, I am painting the inside instead of the outside for obvious reasons, so it is not easily stained. Besides, you do not have to wait for it to dry up for you to carry on with your project on the outside, like writing on them or drawing on them like I am currently doing on these wine glasses. And oh, I got these wine glasses from the dollar store as well for a dollar fifty each. The smallest one, I think, I got for a dollar. Next, I will be using these ribbons to create some bows for my beautiful-looking snowman heads. There are so many fun ways you can decorate your home for Christmas, and this is one of them. 
you just need to get creative and just make it yours and do you i always say that do you even better this is diy on the budget you do not have to break a bank to get creative you do not have to break a bank to get all fancied up so you can actually make yours and voila we have our candle stands ready for christmas unique pieces for you and you only again diy the whole purpose is to create pieces that can only be found in your home if anything you can find similar but not the same putting everything together i really loved how everything turned out um, there we have my frosty and he comes bearing gifts as you can see <laughs> so yes i really loved the outcome so far and next i will show you how the lights work and how it looks in the dark it is really really lovely i am of course using flimless candles um, because i do not want the wax going down onto the wine glasses the bling especially and the bow ties so yes i'm using flimless candles and if you can spot my center making some gingerbread ginger man cookies i think <laughs> i got that from the thrift store who believe it or not i got that for a dollar there was no way i was gonna let that go the things we find at the thrift store <laughs> this will be a rare find for me i really really loved it i just love it and here is how it looks in the dark So you could choose to use battery operated lights or you could actually buy electrical lights and actually put underneath it's all up to you and these you can find easily at a dollar store walmart or amazon and that sums it up today for our dollar tree christmas decorations 2020 on how to make a glass lighted snowman so please let me know in the comment section if this is something that you would like to try sometime and also do not forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this particular diy and if you would like to see more from me and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you do not miss a thing in the meantime Always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and stay safe.